Well, it's about 10 a.m. on Friday, September 22nd. We're at the Five Lakes Trail out of Lake Tahoe. We're heading up to join the PCT and then continue on the PCT to Donner Pass. It's gonna be a, just a three day, two night section here. Supposed to be a pretty respectable climb, over a thousand feet or more, roughly uh, over the first couple of miles here. That's uh, the first goal of the day is to get to the top of this climb. All right, we'll see you soon. Well, we got off the trail Wednesday at Barker Pass and uh, headed down to the cabin in Tahoma and hunkered down there for Thursday. Uh, Wednesday night, I should say Thursday morning around 3 a.m. Front came through where we were in the cabin. We got some good hail and some lightning and thunder at the cabin. Lasted yeah, a little less than an hour. And then we had off and on rain throughout Thursday morning. Started to clear up. So we spent the rest of the day at zero at the cabin. And here we are Friday morning picking up. About a third of a mile up the switchbacks. And we just broke over 250 feet of gain. So if it keeps this pace, that's gonna be 750 feet per mile. It's uh, respectable for me anyway, but uh, it's fun. It's not too bad. Keep on going up. At eight tenths, we had 500 feet, so it's moved out a little bit. And then there's little areas like this where it's flat and sometimes downhill. Well, working our way up, we're at one mile from the car. About halfway up, we started seeing parts of this ski infrastructure, the towers, the gondolas. We're in the Alpine Meadows ski area right here above Five Lakes or near Five Lakes, up Five Lakes Trail. It's 10.42 a.m. We've gone 1.3 miles. We're at about 7,300 feet and we've climbed about 700 from the car. And uh, right under the gondola that connects Olympic Valley, it used to be called Squaw Valley, with uh, Alpine Meadows. So you can take this gondola between the two resorts, ski areas. Nice little valley down here. There's the brothers heading up the trail. I better get moving before they get too far ahead. Here we go. of the five lakes. The biggest one in number three is coming up here in a minute. All right, so this is the five lakes area, uh, Cal Topo map. And we're coming into the area from up here in the top right corner. Kind of coming in, starting to see the lakes here. First couple. I don't know if we ever actually set eyes on these two. This is the largest one, and right there is where we ate lunch. 
Then after lunch we headed out this way and right here down in the lower left corner is where we joined the PCT. So this is the PCT coming up and right there is where we joined it. All right. And it's about 11.20 and we're stopping for lunch. Well, we're here at the largest of the five lakes near the PCT up above Lake Tahoe and stopping for lunch. And if you saw my other video on my menu, you'll recognize this. We've got some electrolytes, some uh, lemon powder to put in your water if you want some lemon. Uh, main course is the salmon and peanut butter, a Cheeto bar, handful of nuts, and a couple of meat sticks, and a dessert, Chop Zero bar. There's what I'm going to have right now, unless I get full. This is the view. There's the rest of the clan. Well, we're kind of following the trail around the north side of the largest of the five lakes. It says no lakes beyond this sign. So the largest of the lakes that we just left is the last lake on this trail. If you're coming up from the trailhead, no camping or stock within 300 feet of the water. Some nice clearings down there. I think it used to be uh, no rule against that. So there are some sites that look like nice campsites, but they're right on the water's edge and no longer allowed. So this will take us on to the junction with the Pacific Crest Trail, which is where we're headed. And then we're going to start thinking about campsites and water sources to uh, stage us to be able to get to Donner in the next two days. One of us has to be at Donner and get out of here by Sunday night, so we can't stretch this in any more days than that. That's our limit. Like we got ourselves a little water crossing here. Nice, pretty little meadow. Coming down the last few steps of the Five Lakes Trail and joining now Pacific Crest Trail. At mile 1137.1, there we go. We're back on it. So uh, we'll keep you posted. We're going to start heading north and look for water and tent sites. And we've still got plenty of time of hiking. And we've only gone three miles from the car, but this was going to be a short day anyway. We started kind of late, and it's really just staging us for the last two days. So. Uh, we're not 100% sure yet what we're going to do or how far we're going to go, but we'll keep you posted. There's some bear scat. Still kind of soft. Not sure how old that is, but keeping our eyes open. I've been trying to find some bear tracks ever since I saw that scat. This is about the closest thing I've seen to one. Everything else, a lot of footprints and horse tracks. But uh, that wiped out probably a lot of the bear tracks, but I don't see any tread marks in here. And looks like there's some toes right there. Uh, 
hard to say. I've definitely seen bear tracks that are very clear, perfect imprints. But I haven't seen that yet. Whiskey Creek Trail Junction. Whiskey Creek Camp. Diamond Crossing this way. Hello. Hi. How's it going? How are you doing? You guys PCT in? Through hike? Yeah. From Canada? Or uh, just flipping? Canada, I had flip flop, yeah. And I had to get off trail for like two and a half weeks due to injury. So oh, yeah. it looks like I won't finish now because I still have a huge chunk in Northern California from Old Station to Truckee. Yeah. And then I probably won't make it uh, all the way down to Lone Pine where that's where I would have ended on Whitney. So. Yeah. So, so are you doing the PCT? No, my brothers are right there. We're, uh, oh. we're doing uh, Echo Lake to Donner Pass. I feel oh, like perfect. Donner Pass. So okay, cool. That's what, yeah, that's we what we're doing. That was desolation for you. Got a little hail? Uh, we, my brother there in the front lives, has a place in Tahoma. Okay. So it just happened, the timing was perfect. We went right down off the trail and went, spent the uh, night in his cabin. What did he, um, so, off of Barker? Yeah, we, we got off of Barker. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're getting resupplied there because her husband's nice enough to we'll pick up our yeah. bear yeah, canisters so. for desolation. And then that way I don't have to carry too much weight. We Absolutely. did get we did get lightning and hail at his place about three in the morning. Oh yeah. Thursday morning. Thursday morning. Yeah, yeah. That, it was bad over Genoa. It, like lit up Genoa. <laughs> <laughs> so. Yeah. Crazy. When so. did you come out? And when did you go start this part of your hike? I've been on trail since March 28th, on skipping, yeah. going north. Posting it on YouTube? Do you have a... Uh, no, not really. Instagram or anything? profile, yeah. yeah. They always say create something while you're out here, so it's like I made my own video logs and I have so many pictures. Like, maybe I'll do a post-trail thing when yeah. I'm bored and back in real life and have time to sit on the phone. But on trail, I'd rather just be soaking it all in and then... You have a trail name? Tumbleweed. Tumbleweed. Yeah. Wonderful. I've got a tiny channel. That, uh, oh, who are you? On where are you on Insta on, on uh, YouTube? YouTube? It's Rancho Coyote. Rancho Coyote. All one word. I'll give you a follow. I think right. total today I'll, I'll be at 1,850 ish. Did you do the whole desert I'm section from the border to Kennedy, Kennedy Meadows and Mount Whitney? Whitney? Yeah. You got uh, a not to Whitney. Like <laughs> when were you there? Uh, June first is when I left Kennedy Meadows yeah. or so got there, fun. and yeah. then I left the next day. So mm -hmm. yeah, it was really haphazard. Wow. I did like a. There's still a lot of snow at that time. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, 20 20 miles out. Once you got to 9,000 feet, it was like okay, snow. It was straight snow. And the first day I did 18 miles in straight snow. Once I hit it, and that was brutal. Yeah. Any interest it, in coming back and filling in the little pieces yeah. so you can say you've done the whole thing? Yeah, yeah. like I I would love to do uh, as much as I can this year and then just have a little bit to come back to. Mm -hmm. um, I really want to make 2,000 miles, so that's the first goal, but really it's day by day at this point. I have the Durston Pro. Oh, okay. And she's got the Durston X Mid Polysil. Yeah, it's not, just, it's not Dyneema. Yeah. yeah, it's good. It's, it's a good tent. I have the same one. Yeah, you I like it. One or two person? One. So my daughter has yeah, I mean the two person's it. not that much bigger. Um, I think a little bit obviously you can fit two people in it, but it like weight wise it's not that much more. And it's just for a one person tent the footprint's really huge. All right, good to see you. You too. Well, we're coming up on PCT eleven thirty eight. And it should be Whiskey Creek. Come up here any minute. Mile 1138. There's a big tree. Fell across the trail and very grateful for our trail maintenance crews that come out and clear these things off. There's the chunk. We're at 1138.7. The pretty close approach to the Whiskey Creek you can hear right down there. And then we come right up against it here in a really short distance we'll be touching it again. At 
the campsite at 11.39 on the PCT. And I uh, came across a little bunny trail in the brush and found these headwaters of the Whiskey Creek. And uh, I bent over, filled up my bladder, filtered out enough to fill up my two one liter bottles, and then refilled my bladder. So that should be enough for the night for me. Yeah, nice little gathering spot, ice cold water. I just gotta climb back out of here. And, uh, a little bit of a step up. Up we go. Up we go, don't slip. Okay. This is the uh, bunny trail. Campsite it's right in there where those trees start just ahead. And this is tent site, it's only about 100 feet or so to the water. This one is on far out. So, there's that. Trails. It's right there on the other side of that dip. Lots of uh, three or four decent sites there. Watered out there. Hey, real quick before you go, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and give us a like. It really helps out the channel. All right. Hope you enjoyed this video and uh, hit the notification bell and you'll get notified when day six video comes out, which should be here in a few days. All right. Thanks again for watching. See you next time.